What's going on, everybody? Xavier Porter, Shoot the Fire, Brooklyn Fights. This has been on my mind since the last week. It's been on my mind actually for two weeks after talking to Paul, Mal Paul, Paul Malinaji when he was saying how the fights, this fight between Tyson Fury and um, Deontay Wilder wasn't being promoted or handled the right way. Early on, I agree with the man. I'm not going to lie. Early on, I agree with him. Um, but, but like a week going into the fight, I saw a change. I saw a change in how commercials were popping up everywhere. I saw a huge push to get a lot of fan viewership and fan paying attention to wanting to come out and see this fight or, you know, pay for it on a pay-per-view, whatever have you. I seen the casuals. And when I say casuals, I mean people that don't really follow boxing start popping up and talking boxing. Just today, I got an invite to join a, a, a Facebook group, and I don't really, I don't deal with the Facebook groups. I had, a, I actually had a Facebook group too, when I was like, man, that shit corny. Um, I see one of my guys, who I know, never, don't know nothing about boxing, he gonna create a Facebook group about boxing. And I'm saying, and then invite me to it. I'm like, bro, you know nothing about boxing. You ain't been involved in the sport as much as I have been or, or others. You know what I'm saying? You put no time in the sport. You ain't reported on the sport. You ain't interview no fighters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I see them create a Facebook page. I said, oh, wow. That tells me that boxing is expanding and starting to grow fan support. And I hope it continues in that, 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 um, that fashion. You know, I really do. But on the flip side of that, there was a lot of money made this past weekend, man. There was a lot of money made. First off, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, their purse bid was five mil. They both got paid five mil off the rip. Right? Gerald Washington, them, they got like they got like two hundred and twenty something thousand, blah blah blah, right? But after the fight, they're going to get and I'm not talking about Gerald Washington and, and what's the name? I'm talking about Tyson Fury and it, um, where's that? Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. They're going to make twenty five thousand a piece, twenty five twenty five million a piece. Excuse me. I'm trying to find it. Where is it at? I need to read it to y'all. Yeah, here we go. Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury signed for a guaranteed five mil, but both are expected to make twenty five mil a piece, plus percentages, percentages. Of the pay per view profits, Charles Martin made two fifty thousand last night. Gerald Washington made two seventy five. Emmanuel Navarrete made three hundred thousand. His opponent, Gio Tupas Sent Sentasima, made twenty five k. That's horrible, bro. That's horrible. Sebastian Fundora made forty k. Daniel Lewis made thirty five. Subrio Matias made fifty k. Petros Ananian made thirty. Amir Iman. Amir Iman made $30,000. Damn. Vito, Mil, Mil, Vito Miel, you know what I'm talking about, Vito. <laughs> Mielkny, he made $4,000. Um, Rolando Romero, Roly. Roly made $8,000 yesterday. That's that's not, I don't know, that's not cool. You would, you would think he would make more than that. Coming from where he, he's who, from, who he's promoted by, you would think he would get more money than that. Anyway, with that being said, you know who made money yesterday? Not only Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, but Vegas and the promoters. They did a hell of a job putting on the fight. Fantastic job. They promoted it to a T. They got everybody to come out. It sold out tickets beyond. I don't know if it was the best selling or second best selling live gate. I think Lewis and Holyfield got that one in Vegas. But it is what it is. They sold the hell out of this fight yesterday. And it was a good fight. It wasn't a whack fight. Undercards, yeah. But the fight itself, the main event, was a good main event. You got to have a good main event in order to sell out tickets like this. I mentioned earlier. Everybody got paid from the casinos. If you ever seen a movie like Casino, <laughs> from the pit bosses to the eyes of the sky to the dealers to the check ins to the tellers to the bell hops, you know what I mean? Everybody got paid yesterday from the bookies, 
from people that work in restaurants, from people that work in because you know you work in a restaurant. That's restaurants you get mad money. Restaurants you get tips and all that, chefs and all that. Come on, um, pawn shops. You know what I'm saying? Airbnbs, um, Uber drivers, Lyft drivers. Everybody got paid yesterday, man. PBC top rank. Fox Sports, ESPN came together and put on a hell of a sh promotion and everybody's reaping the benefits from it. Everyone. That goes and tells me that a mega fight between Terrence Crawford and Manny Pacquiao can be made. That goes and tells me that a mega fight between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford can be made. Not saying it should be made right now after the Errol Spence car accident, but it tells me that it can be made. You know what I'm saying? With Bob Aaron looking to, I would say, sell a, a portion or a percentage of top rank to the Zone and Endeavor, who owns UFC and this other tele telecommunications company. You know, fights of these magnitudes of these. These high caliber fighters that everybody want to see, these champions, these fights can be made. I, I don't think Showtime expected ESPN and them to do so well yesterday. I don't think they did. But when you got four, you got four entities, financial entities coming through together, they fought like Voltron yesterday, man. They fought like Voltron. That's exactly what happened. The two arms was top rank in PBC. The two legs was Fox Sports and ESPN. And the head, when they formed the head, it was Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. They formed like Voltron yesterday and made a hell of a lot of money in Vegas yesterday. They, they, really, they really set the ground. They, they really hit the ground running. And, and um, Bob Arum, he knows what he's doing. Al Heyman and his team, they know what they're doing. They suffered a huge setback with Deontay Wilder losing yesterday. But, you know... We'll see what happens if the rematch comes. Rematch probably would be even bigger than this. We don't know. But what I do know is, yesterday was a huge, huge money maker for, for all four entities. But come back to y'all with another one, because there's so much flowing right now in my mind, and I still got to write my articles. So, I'm going to come back to y'all with another one, man. Peace.